So you get a great idea for a startup, but which cities offer the most venture capital in Europe? Coming up now! Hi, I'm Oliver and welcome back to the channel Ask Me Startup, where we talk about startups, small businesses and the world that surrounds them. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and pushing the notification bell because it really, really helps this channel to grow. If you're into business, if you have a small business, please feel free to download my free startup checklist, link in the description below. Today's topic, which cities in Europe offer the most venture capital? Have you ever wondered why there are some cities that are more favorable with startups and entrepreneurs than others? Reality is that if you have a cluster of startups, you will attract a cluster of venture capital and hence you will find cities where the availability of venture capital is way larger than in others. But which are the largest cities in Europe in terms of venture capital spending? If you look at the numbers, you can clearly see the biggest winner of them all is London. Now this city has been popular with startups at all times. And if you sum up the amount from 2017 to 2021, you can see that they have invested more than 18,365 millions. An incredible amount of money. The next cities would be Berlin, Paris, Stockholm, and Amsterdam. You can see you have different countries in there with the biggest hubs and the biggest attractiveness to startups. I'm pretty sure that you are aware that you can manipulate any statistic with some outliers. Let's assume you have a deal that is a billion dollars and the rest of the companies would just get a million. Now that $1 billion deal would of course increase the total amount of all companies dramatically, but the number of deals would have not changed and the average money the deals would have gotten would have increased significantly. If you would have just two deals, one for a million, one for a billion, both of them would have got on average 500 million, but it's not true for both companies. Hence, we should also take a look at the number of deals that are done in specific cities because this also gives you an indication which is a better city to start your business in. And if you look at the graph, you can clearly see that the winner again is London, but suddenly Paris pops up. Now that tells you that there are a lot of deals, but they're not as significant in size as they are in other cities. Then again, we find Amsterdam and Stockholm and we'll find Madrid. Now we're missing Berlin, we're missing Munich. As you can see, most likely then they have done bigger deals, but just fewer of them. Keep that in mind when you plan to choose a city. Let's assume for a second that you might not be interested to put your startup into one of the big cities where the VCs are, because maybe you have an agricultural startup and hence this is not really suitable for a big city. So where are good places that you can put your startup and still get a lot of funding? Well, turns out that best place to do that is Switzerland. Now, Switzerland is unique in many ways. And if you look at the graph here, you can see it's outranges the other countries by a mile. Switzerland is such an interconnected industrial society that it is almost irrelevant where you place your startup. Hence, even there are some bigger cities like Zurich and some very popular cities as well. With the good quality of living, it is still irrelevant whether you put your startup in Zurich or in a smaller city like I have done. No matter what, if you're interested in Switzerland, and I really recommend you should take a look at this country in closer depth, please click the video up here to have an idea on my pros and cons about the country. The next country, or well, the second best, would be Spain, followed by Germany. Well, Germany and Switzerland have a lot of similarities. Still, it is more centralized with Berlin and Munich as those two major startup hubs, followed by the United Kingdom. Now, this all gives you an indication that you can have your startup outside the big cities, but you should then choose different places, different countries. Okay, now let's take this a little further. Let's assume you want to increase the likelihood of funding because you have a great idea and I really assume you have a great meaningful idea that is scalable, that would attract venture capital. So how are you going to maybe raise the likelihood of you getting funding. For that, let's take a look at the 
venture capital spending per capita. Now, if you take a look at this graph, you can clearly see there's one winner that is Estonia. Now, Estonia shouldn't come as a surprise to you because Estonia is doing a tremendously good job at, in attracting businesses. It has a very good setup for startups and hence attracts a lot of small, mainly tech-driven startups. And second on the list would be Iceland, then followed by Ireland, Luxembourg and Denmark. Now, all of these countries are smaller countries. All of them not necessarily have one startup hub, but maybe are, have a more distributed approach. But all of them foster and stress the need of new inventions, of new businesses to create jobs in the future. Also, take a look at the black line. That is the average of the European Union. You can now see that there are countries that are substantially better than the average in Europe. Hasn't the pandemic and the way we are conducting business changed anyway? So shouldn't it be less important to be close to a big city for the investment? Good point. There has been a survey done and let's take a look at this here. And you can see that depending on where you are, the importance of being close to the city has become less and less important. So for Tallinn, a city in Estonia, no problem. It's not necessary anymore, right? Berlin has become less important, but still is just on the place number three. London become less important. Paris, it has become more or less the same thing. So yes, it has become less important to be in a startup hub due to the way we conduct business and have those virtual conferences these days. But it depends. Always do your due diligence first. Always look what are the prerequisites for you and your business then choose the country. And please don't do the mistake just to look at taxes. Look at other things. For instance, if you plan to do business with China, now I'm not saying you should do, but let's say, assume you would do that. Switzerland is a much better pick than any of the European countries in the European Union. Why? Because Switzerland has a free trade agreement with China, which eases the way of doing business so much more than any other countries would have the possibility to do. All right, everybody, I hope that video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please comment and ask a question about the country or city that you think should be mentioned or has been missing in this list here. If you like the video so and the content so far, please subscribe and push the notification bell because it really helps this channel to grow. I thank you for your attention and I'm gonna see you next time.